Hello Dance Today! This is my interview. Oh, and I'm Louis Van Amstel. <laughs> So how can dancers be more rhythmic in rumba? Study the Walter Laird book. There's four counts. You break those four counts in half. Now you have eight half beats. Three of those are for the steps and five of those are for hip actions. Study the Walter Laird book. There's four counts. You break those four counts in half. Now you have eight half beats. Three of those are for the steps and five of those are for hip action. So you get two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And you want to be more rhythmical in rumba? Study the music. Four counts, cut in half, eight half beats, three, four steps, two, three, four. All the ends, plus one, body action. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now, if you want to be rhythmic and accent and chew and swing and percussive, vibrancy and all that. That's great. They're good. First, understand how the wheel works, then change the wheel. How to not feel crunched with your spine in Pasa Doble. Pasa Doble, one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Biggest rule of thumb. If you hear people tell you, push your hips forward, run, run for the hills. There's nothing worse than thrusting your hips forward. I mean, maybe, yes, some people make it look good. It's wrong and your lower back is going to be your worst enemy. Since Paso Doble is based on bullfight and flamenco, in flamenco we open our chest at all times. You are as mobile as possible. Now imagine if I have my cape and there's the bull right behind that camera and I have my hips thrusted. I am so immobile right now. This is the worst thing. You want to lengthen that spine and stretch your body. So at all times, you are aligned. Your chest is wide open. There's nothing like this, even in a chasse cape. Ha! You want to be chest up and open. When you close, you are light. You lengthen that spine as long as you can, but you do not want to thrust your hips forward. If you do, good luck with your lower back. Build your stamina. Do those rounds to make sure that when you compete, you don't just do the physical execution, but you can also express. Have that connection with the audience. Oftentimes couples lose. They don't have the personalities anymore, especially when it comes to Paso Doble and Jive. People are dead. This is why I created a fitness program called La Blast to build monsters. No matter what you throw, no matter how fast or slow, you can do it. So when you're doing a Jive, Imagine you are now 50 minutes in and you're here and you're tired. Come on, you gotta still express. And this is what we train people to do. Or when you do fitness. Fitness with ballroom dancing and partner free. Why partner free? It's 100% about you. 35 minutes in and you're already dead. Can you still have that muscle endurance or will you become weak? Dancers, don't think by just doing the rounds that you have the stamina. You can just survive your routine. No, no, no. You go out there to kick butt, to express yourself and personality because one thing I am missing on the dance floor is personalities. Is the Paso Doble is one way. Rumba is another. Samba is another. And Cha Cha is different. And then Jai. They all should look different. They're from different countries. Listen to the music. Interpret the music. Contribute. What is your personal contribution to Cha Cha? To some guys most important is physically mentally emotionally commit to the dance express and don't forget you're in charge not your coach so if you want more information you want to bring the blast to your studio as an owner go to the description below <laughs> <laughs>